puppy? You wanna go swimming? Go on the lake? Huh? You wanna go get swimmers itch? Nope, you don't. <laughs> Hot summer day and places like Minnesota where the water is still and warm and frequented by birds, that's a great place to go get swimmers itch. Let's go get swimmers itch, should we? No, let's not. But let's go swimming, but in a place where you won't get swimmers itch. I'll show you a few tidbits that I learned the hard way because I got myself a nice case of swimmers itch. Right there's a fresh one, so is that one. These are a few days older, so they do heal, um, but I kept going back in for four days. I thought these were mosquito bites, but they're nasty, itchy, terribly painful. And my daughter's got it too. So now we found out how we got swimmer's itch. Maybe we can teach you how not to get swimmer's itch. Nice summer day and you want to go out swimming? Come here, Sadie. Lake, come on. Come on. Let's go swim. You want to go swimming? Let's go get swimmer's itch, shall we? <laughs> no. Let's not. Well, maybe you could learn from me. Because I went out and got swimmer's itch for four days and I didn't know. Well, I knew I had painful, itchy, swelling, pimply things, but I thought they were from the mosquitoes. And I came to find out that the type of water I was swimming in had a real serious infestation of swimmer's itch or, or the parasites that cause it. Basically, these little parasites drill into your skin and die. And then they leave pustules that are itchy and painful and infected like that. Well, I will tell you how to avoid that because I did four days of research in the lake and I have footage to show you. As you can see, the water here infested with uh, different parasites is a ripe environment in the warm summer climate where you can get swimmer's itch. Swimmer's itch is a rash that uh, appears on your skin and it's caused by sericarial dermatitis which appears as a rash on the skin. It's little pimples. Uh, they hurt a lot more than just your average pimple. These parasites are released from infected snails into fresh uh, ponds and lakes usually in the heat of the summer. Uh, we picked it up in early July, which is rare, but Minnesota has been pretty warm after a long, long winter. We didn't have spring. We jumped right to a hot summer. Uh, these parasites prefer a host, which is basically uh, specific types of birds and mammals. Uh, they come in contact with the swimmer and burrows into the skin and causes an allergic reaction or rash. Swim swimmer's itch is found throughout the world and most frequently during summer months. Well, duh. You're not going to find it in the winter. Um, adult parasites live in blood of infected animals such as ducks, geese, gulls, swans, and certain mammals such as muskrats and raccoons. Guess what? This beach we were swimming on during the 4th of July and boating and doing water sports was uh, a very popular place for all those mammals and birds that I just mentioned. Um, the eggs get laid in the water and if they land or are washed in the water, the eggs hatch, releasing a small free-swimming microscopic larvae. These larvae swim into the water in search of certain species of aquatic snail. And I had snails on my boat, I remember. Now it's too late for me to do anything because I didn't see these telltale signs. And that's why I'm making this video. So that you can identify that you're going to get swimmer's itch. And you'll remember my video and you'll get out of the water as fast as possible. These larvae uh, form... When they, and they swim in search of a suitable host. A bird and muskrat are best, but they could try your human skin. Um, the microscopic larvae burrow deep into the swimmer's skin, but then they die right away. Uh, that causes t 
tingling, burning, itching of the skin, small reddish pimples and blisters. They form within 12 hours of infection. Um, they appear as first as small blisters, but then they, I can tell you from experience, they get uh, infected and, and get a lot of pressure and just itch unbelievably. I couldn't decide which one itched more, and I was up all night. Uh, there's a few things you can do for treatment. If you get a severe uh, infection or rash, you should see your doctor. Otherwise, uh, swimmer's itch typically does not require medical attention according to the CDC website. I'll put a link on my, on my video here. If you have a rash, you may try cortisone cream, cool compresses, Epsom salts, baking soda bath. Uh, either one, baking soda or Epsom salts, draws the infection out of your skin if you bathe in the in those types of baths. Or just jump in the ocean if you could get a flight there real quick. Like That's what I'd like to do. Soak in a colloid ointment bath or oatmeal bath. Well, I'm not going to bathe with oatmeal, but you can. And uh, try an anti-itch lotion. They only last, uh, the sores, that is, only last for a few days. And... Uh, You'll find that you'll be healed up in no time. With that news, I'm going to leave you to healing your itches or avoiding getting them in the first place. You can see by this uh, water, we were sitting, uh, we were swimming actually near a marshland and uh, kind of the swampier, stiller part of the lake. We weren't in the fresher beach sand type. Uh, part of the lake because we were doing a little fishing as you can see by the footage and um, doing some water sports where the other boats weren't causing big wakes and uh, causing us a lot of waves so we were over by the marshy land in the hot summers where the birds hang out and the snails and muskrats and uh, thus the swimmers itch I think the people over by the beach on the other side of the lake probably did not have swimmer's itch. That comes more uh, commonly in the month of April. Well, I'll leave you to uh, research the rest on your own. I'll put a link to the uh, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention website dealing with swimmer's itch. It's the best one I found, most comprehensive. It's not going to kill you, but keep this in mind. Strong caution. That there's a close cousin, and they didn't name it for me, but uh, to the to the larvae that causes swimmer's itch that could infest your dog's intestinal tract and make your dog very sick and get a lot of diarrhea, and your dog could actually end up with some bleeding. So for dogs, that water is even worse. And you'll see the footage of my dog swimming in that water and drinking it. Although I tried to avoid to have her do that, but they're going to do it anyway. And uh, just be cautious with your dog because they're going to get infected a lot worse than you are. Um, Sadie's okay, so you don't have to worry about her. She'll appear in other videos if you subscribe and watch. Thanks for watching.